Martin Luther King Jr. must be rolling around in his damn grave at all of his cooning ass descendants and family members. I'm the librarian. I'm librarian. And I came, and I to, came read. to read. Yet again, I have to hop my ass up, turn on my goddamn camera, and roast the shit out of you homophobic ass straight men. In New Orleans, I've seen some of you hoes riding around the whole fucking city looking for a transsexual woman to fucking harass. There was one of you bitches recording, and another one of y'all skid mark having ass in your underwear having ass hoes hopped out of your fucking car with a gun out to bash trans women. Y'all are chasing them around the fucking street, beating their ass in the face and shit like that. Let me tell you something. You're going to run up on the wrong trans woman who got the taser for that ass who got the gun for that ass your brain's gonna be splattered across the fucking streets and i'm just gonna hope that instead of someone having a memorial for your ass i hope they dance around on your remains and leave all that shit there all that blood there to be an example for the rest of you tired ass straight men that know exactly how the fuck you know exactly where the trans women in the city are gonna be bitch you're not fooling me you're not fooling me bitch how you know their exact location bitch y'all hoes are chasing these women i hope that you your bloody ass remains remain on the goddamn street for months. The only thing that takes it away is the rain that washes down. I want you bitches to be made an example of. I want you to try the wrong trans woman and I want her to have the knife, the cutlass for your ass, bitch. I want her to slice your ass and dice your ass until there's nothing left. And I think that some of the women you were harassing were already vulnerable members of the LGBT community because they were out here selling their body and living on the streets and shit like that. So for them to already live a life like that and then you come up to harass them even further, I have no sympathy in my heart for any of you bitches who do shit like that. That's why I'm saying that I hope somebody comes and knocks the lights out on y'all ass. I'm not talking about an electric company, bitch. I hope somebody comes and drags y'all asses through the pavement like y'all think y'all are doing to trans women. There's no no reason for your ass to be supposedly heterosexual and instead of chasing the vagina that you claim to be getting you're out here looking for trans women to beat their asses up it's not gonna continue to happen out on my goddamn watch i want you bitches to understand something if you come up to harass a trans woman and they whip out the lasso on your ass like wonder woman bitch and hook your ass up by the neck bitch this is how i'm gonna act like i just didn't see anything bitch oops i just oh something might be happening over there bitch I don't feel sorry for your ass. And I don't know if I really have a message for trans women who may be going through this shit because it, it is very difficult to navigate how you're supposed to deal with situations like that. But if possible, trans women, try to learn ways to defend yourself. I don't know if you can get somebody to teach you how to, you know, martial arts, Jackie Chan, these hoes. I don't know if you have access to any type of weapon, guns, or, or, or tasers, or whatever. You got a knife. But if possible, trans women, get y'all and arm yourselves, bitch, because obviously this is war. Bitch, arm yourself in case any of these dumbass hoes try bitch let me tell you something. he had a gun in his hand and even with the gun he felt the need to fucking punch these trans women in the fucking face no bitch y'all need to get y'all asses up because these hoes are out here harassing you discriminating against you get y'all asses up if you can bitch I don't even care if you have a Game of Thrones sword on your ass bitch slice these hoes cut these hoes down like the oak tree built ass motherfuckers they are Alveda King with your rotting plum shaped head ass you are Martin Luther King Jr knees and you got your ass up onto these media platforms in order to coon. You told everyone that your ass voted for Donald Trump, one of the most divisive, racist, and bigoted assholes that we have in any position of power. Um, I don't understand why you're out here trying to coon. Oh yes, I agree with many of the things that Donald Trump has said because I'm just such a sickening queen and oh my gosh, I'm Dr. King's relative, but I'm still out here cooning. Girl, if you would open your mucus filled ass eyes, if you would open from those old ass, creaky ass eyelids of yours, you would be able to see that currently in the transition of power, we have dumb ass bullshit that's going on. So I don't understand how you can out of your mouth endorse or vote for a trash ass candidate with no experience that is allowing people with who are also trash, who also have no experience to get up in these positions of power and ruin everything. Did you just recently see some old cottage cheese built ass, pillar of salt built ass white hole get up in, I think Donald Trump appointed her to head the department.
Department of Education. And she has said that the public school system is trash and yet has no experience in it. She didn't even attend public schools and she didn't have her children attend them. So she has no experience in that shit automatically. Come. Like, girl, these holes are going to be completely invested in the private sector. Girl, they want to make money. So it's like, you are not making any fucking sense to me, okay? We have a lot of bullshit that's going on. Bitches with no experience getting positions that really should only be filled by people who have been doing that type of shit their whole lives. These holes were just interns five days ago and all of a sudden they find themselves running the whole company. Bitch, I don't know what the fuck you're talking about, Mr. Alveda King, but you need to take your Bob Bob Black sheep built ass and roll on over to somebody's pasture because I am over it. And speaking of Donald Trump's trash ass transition, bitch, how the fuck he served me Kerry Hilson teased the way that his inauguration is about to be like a Walmart and parking lot ass performance, girl. Bitch, you gonna tell me you got so many free empty spaces that you out here giving away free goddamn tickets? Girl, what is the goddamn tea? Even George H.W. Bush is like, girl, I don't know if I can make it out, girl. He cited health reasons. I think I just saw on Twitter that he was hospitalized, so I don't know what's going on with that, but girl, no one is coming to your shit, girl. You out here giving free tickets like you a fucking Keisha Cole type of person selling fucking fish plates, girl. Why are you serving me Kaya teas, girl? You're serving me empty ass arena teas, girl. Dwindling ass world tour teas. Catch that goddamn shade. Girl, this shit is hilarious to me, girl. These next four years are about to be complete trash. There's everything going up in goddamn flames and smoke, bitch. And you hoes thought in order to protect your privilege, you're gonna put a bigoted asshole in there, girl. Good luck, bitch. Because the world is burning up and these hoes think that just because snow exists, that climate change isn't real. Girl, this is going to be interesting. Buckle up, bitch, because we got the most demented version of Miss Frizzle in the driver's seat about to lead us into the flaming pits of hell. Oh, bitch. Speaking of politics, y'all know that Lady Gaga is supposed to get her ass onto the Super Bowl halftime stage and slay the fuck out of you hoes. Now, I have not been recently here for a lot of her latest stuff, but I know that at the end of the day, Gaga can still pull through as a performer, so I'm looking forward to that. However, it has been rumored that the NFL has told her ass that you cannot be political, you cannot make any political statements on stage. Now, the NFL, the trash ass NFL, has come out to say, well, girl, we didn't say that shit. We're gonna deny all that shit. I don't know if I believe the NFL. I feel like maybe somebody did tell her ass that she cannot make any political statements. Knowing the person that Lady Gaga is, I know that she will get her ass on there. Even if she has to just allude to it, I know that she'll say something. I don't know if maybe after Beyonce got her ass on there and said that she likes her nigger nose and afros and shit like that, that the NFL got shook. I know the type of person Lady Gaga is based on what she presents to us, and she does not know how to be silent when injustice is around. Even if sometimes her perspective is kind of shaky. At the end of the day, her heart is still based on trying to get people who are disadvantaged to higher levels. So I'm looking forward to this shit. I'm hoping that she snatches every one of my goddamn follicles, okay? I'm, I'm ready. I'm ready for my scalp to be bald. Now, we all know that Tyler Posey is fine as hell. He is the lead actor in Teen Wolf, if you don't know who I'm talking about. He is cute as fuck to me. I want, I ship him and Dylan O'Brien together all the goddamn time. Honestly, I don't know if I ship them or Dylan and um, Derek. Bitch, you know what I'm talking about. So yeah, I already thought he was adorable. Um, I don't think it's wrong to have a few sexual fantasies about his ass. But then the icing on the cake happened when his nude video leaked. Let me tell you something. It's not cute for anybody to leak any of your nude stuff, especially without your consent or whatever. But girl, I couldn't help but press play on the video, girl. Tyler said he whipped out his peen and said, what's the tea, bitch? He was jacking that peen. He was jacking that peen, girl. He was playing with himself and I was not angry about it, girl. It's okay. You gotta, sometimes you just gotta do what you gotta do, girl. You just feel the urge, right, sis? Okay, that's fine, girl. That's fine, girl. She was jacking that dick, girl. And all of a sudden, this Tyler Post's dick, he's playing with it, playing with it. And all of a sudden, he just, he slapped it. I said, girl, I mean, what did she do to you for you to backhand her peen like that, girl? What did she do to you? Girl, you really tried it. She was not trying to come for you. Ain't no need for you to bitch slap your penis like that. It just went... Boing. I said, okay, Tigger. You over here bouncing to new heights. I just thought it was interesting. Listen, if a penis is involved and it's on a cute ass man, I just, I don't mind. Tyler, do what you have to do, but you should probably not send it with your face in it next time if that's something that you care about. If you don't care about it, that's fine, because shit, I don't. Now, if I may, can I make a request for anyone else or Idris Elba to go ahead and release a video? Lance Gross, if you're thinking about doing it, might as well go ahead and just release that for me. Trevante Rose, you are new and mainstream, but I am ready for you already to release one if you want. Just, I'm putting in certain small requests because I know my small request may lead to something big.
So a white gay and a white woman took their asses up onto TV land or some shit like that. I can't remember what station it was. They're tired. To create this show called Throwing Shade, bitch, what I'm going to do is throw a lampshade at y'all dumb asses. Maybe it can illuminate the reason why y'all always feel it's necessary to steal some shit from the black gay community, demonize us for it, but then y'all can take parts of our culture that you like and use it for profit. Um, it's nothing new. Everybody thinks Madonna invented voguing when it was started in the black gay community. We even have straight men out here saying shade and shit like that, and in the same breath, they take their asses to be homophobic. It's like, bitch, don't you insult the inventor of the very way that y'all speak. A lot of you women are out here saying, Kiki, what's the tea? And behind our backs calling us all types of faggots, like the very way that you articulate your words didn't come from us. Paris is burning, you bitches need to look that shit up right now, it's a documentary. Girl, we were saying all of this shit when y'all thought that we were just AIDS factories, okay? We've been doing this shit, and I'm gonna tell you the reason why I just don't like this whole throwing shade type of motif, this thing that has been going on in society where you steal from the gays and y'all can just do whatever the fuck y'all want with it. A lot of these people using our terms and shit like that are homophobic. And even I'm hard on the white gays too because they use that shit and would say that they not into blacks, it's just a preference. So it's like, girl, you can't have your cake and eat it too. We made this culture, we created these got this goddamn language. So if you're gonna use that shit, you need to accept all of so if you're gonna use that shit, you need to use us as well. So if you're gonna accept part of us, if you're gonna accept that language, you need to accept us as a whole as well. I'm gonna need for some of these homophobic ass attitudes to die away like Donald Trump's hairline.